Hello everybody, this is Tekka, and in this video what I'm going to be doing is going over the World Border plugin for Bucket. Now every time I've ever had a server or ever been administrating or building a server, I've had this plugin. Now what it does, it is allows you to set a border around your world. It's not a physical border that you can see, but it is a point that people are not going to be allowed to go past, making it so people can't render out your map thousands and thousands of blocks and it will generally improve the performance of your server and it will make it more neater and if you open up on DYN map it will also make it look a lot nicer. So what I'm going to be doing is going over some of the commands and how to use the basic plugin. So right now I have the plugin installed. The configuration file only has a few options so I'm not going to really be going over it. So I'm going to start off by going over some of the commands. The first one is forward slash WB that is a abbreviation for world border that will give you all the commands that you can use. So the first one is going to be the radius. So you can do world border set and this is going to set the radius for your map. So this is a small map. So I'm going to set a small radius just so I can show you this in this video. So I set a radius of 50 from this point. So 50 blocks that way, 50 blocks that way, 50 blocks that way is going to be the radius of this map. So I'm just going to set the spawn right here so I can come back to it and then I'm going to fly out and after about 50 it is going to push me and tell me I've reached the edge of this world. So as you can see 50 blocks away it says I've reached the edge of the world and it's not going to let me go any farther. Now when you're setting these coordinates well, or the radius you can also set the uh, X and Z radiuses you can set different corners, so you can do world set corners and the corners you want the radius to be on. And you can change the radius just by doing radius, and then you can remove the border from the world by typing WB clear, and that will remove the world the border on your world. So now if I go out to the 50 mark, it will not push me back. As you can see, it's letting me continue. And now what we can do is we can change the actual shape of the world. Now there are two. There is the rectangular one and there is the square one. So if I do WB shape and then I could either do the rectangular. So I do rectangular which will set, the, set it to its default or you could do circular. So if I do WB shape and then round it will make the default border round. And I could also set that per world. Now there's a second page of commands, so WB2. You can have your list, so if I do WB list, that will give me the borders I currently have set. And I have none because I cleared it, so I'm going to set a new one. So I'm going to do WB set 50. And I'm going to do WB and then list. And as you can see, it says the default border for all worlds is set to round, and the world wor world has a border radius of 50 at those coordinates. So now I can fill or trim worlds. Now, filling a world makes it so it renders out everything up until the radius. So it just makes it so it looks better on DYN map is the main purpose for that or you just render it out so it's quicker loading so you would just do WB fill and then it would fill for the world but you're going to need to confirm it because it is a rather large action confirm and then it's going to do the map generation for world now it's not going to take very long because it is a very small one but if you set your world border to something like a thousand and try doing that it could take anywhere up to like an hour depending on your um, world, your server specs, and the WB trim command does the exact, the exact opposite. So if I go back to my second page, we have WB trim. So WB trim, and I can change it. So, so if I already have it rendered out and I set the world border smaller, it will trim down all the rendered world outside of the world border. So if I did that and then I did WB trim confirm, it would uh, trim down any excess rendered world that is outside of my border. 
So there actually is a lot of excess because I've been moving around this map, so it is going to take a bit longer than it would than filling the world would be. So I'm going to go WB2 again, and then we have the bypass command. So we have WB bypass. This can be for admins, or if, let's say you're building something outside of the world for your players, you can set that to allow the administrator to do that. So I'd set myself, Brandon Hopkins on and then border bypass for me is now enabled and then the next one is the uh, override so if I wanted this world to be different than all the other worlds let's say I wanted all the other worlds to be circular but I wanted this world to be square I would just do WB W shape and then the shape that I wanted it to be and then there's the WB warp which will make it so instead of actually I'll show you right now First I'm going to turn off the bypass for me, so WB bypass my name off and then I'm going to set the world border, so WB set to let's say 30 so it goes quicker and let's do the warp, so WB warp, well wrap, WB wrap off, actually I want it to WB wrap on so then if I go a direction instead of having me kick back like you saw earlier it's going to put me onto the other side of the world so I'll demonstrate that one more time it's going to be about around here so 30 blocks away right there is when it's going to knock me it says I reached the edge and it warped me to the other side so if I just wanted to turn back I would go back and it would warp me back to this side of the world so that is that and then we have WB3, which turns off the knockback effect off or on, which is the WB whoosh. And then we have WB portal, you could turn that off or on, so turn a portal redirection on or off. And then you have the WB get message, which will display the message when you reach a border, weather sun. And then we have the set message, so you can set the border message, so I can do that. WB set message so msg and then I could do a hi 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 just so you can know it's changed I'm actually not going to use this so as you can see that is the new message and then we have the knockback distance so how far a player will move back I can launch them back into the middle of the world I can set them back two blocks or I can basically do whatever I want and then we have the DYN map display on or off so if you're running DYN map what this does it will make it so a red line or a red border appears around your world where the actual border is which is very helpful and I recommend you keep that on and then we have the DYN map message which will show up on the actual DYN map where the border is so you can set that to whatever you want and then on the fourth page we just have the reload command which will reload any data from the config YML and then we have debug you can set that on or off for console output and then we can go back to our first page where we'll see all the information again. So that is about it with this plugin. I hope this tutorial has helped you in some sort of way. Once again, I highly advise any server get this plugin. It is very, very helpful and it makes managing your server a lot easier and your players will probably like it too. Please comment, rate, and subscribe for more videos like this. I hope you have a fantastic day and goodbye.